Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to Mass Effect 3. Let's play. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Hmm, seems a bit smokier than I remember. Jeez, I still haven't fixed this place up since Cerberus attacked. Okay, who's here? Okay, oh, Tally's down here. Nice. Okay, let's go talk to all of them. Jeez, there's a bunch of people here. Yeah, now that I think about it, we're actually quite... Yeah, we're quite far along, uh, far along in this game now. These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? Damn right they will. I'll have E-Crimes dig into them. Might even help us find them. I just don't understand. What made me so conflicted? Look, the Admiral's done it. Tilgan won't bring anyone back. We have to keep enforcing the law. Same as always. Wait, what's going on here? Look at Paladin, my friend. We're in hell. We should be looking for terrorists. The rest can take care of itself. So the bar fights, the drunken disorderlies down by that purgatory place? How does cracking down on that crap help us win the war? People need to blow off steam right now. And how does letting the misdemeanors go help the war? Less time spent on the light stuff means the Citadel has more money for defense. Hmm. Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. Cerberus caught C-Sec by surprise last time. You need to make sure that never happens again. That's what I'm saying. Forget the small stuff. Support defense and security and take down anyone who threatens the peace. You make it sound like we're under martial law. After a coup attempt during wartime, maybe we should be. It's a thought. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. Let's see. Who's not spying on me now? Ah, uh, I see. Good. Arya's indentured servant has finally come to deliver me to freedom. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh, yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. Don't threaten me. It would be smart to bury the threat, Sedaris. I'll toss them into the caskets with my victims. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? Do you? <laughs> yes. Saying my second in command is a weak willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Fuck no. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. I'll find another solution. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. Yeah, I'm not just gonna let, let her run free. Fuck that. Foolish, sorry, you've just revealed your weakness. Yeah, though. What do we got over here? Credits don't talk with me, Commander. CSEC wants my top of the line. You gotta come through with a couple artifacts. Oh, right. Oh, right, that guy. I remember him now. You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. No one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. 
But she did buy me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. Uh, I'd like that a lot. It'd be nice. And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. You don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? No. But I guess that's one more reason we should keep in touch. Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? You got it. Okay, and then I think uh, Talia is also on this floor somewhere. Where is she? She's over by four. Oh, okay, so she's over by the by the general. Okay, fair enough. Let's go over there and see what she's. So she's right around this spot. Where? Oh, actually, it's here too. This is a nice spot, Ash. Yeah. All the shuttles that being around remind me of when my dad would get ready to ship out. My mom would bundle us all up, buy us ice cream, and cart us out to the shipyard to watch his transport depart. I still have to resist waving every time a big Alliance ship flies by. You miss him? I do. He would have liked you. You think so? Career military man? Yeah. Yeah, he would have invited you over, cooked you something on the grill, and talked your ear off. Hmm. Ever think about what life would have been like outside the Alliance? Oh, sure. Tried to rebel against the whole military family thing when I was growing up. When my dad and I got into it, I'd threaten to run away with the next guy that came along. Really? He'd laugh and say, Good, I'll pack your damn bags myself. That tended to deflate me pretty quick. He knew I'd never stray far from the family. They're everything to me. It's easy to forget what we fight for. Yeah, moments like that. This was a good idea. Nice to get away from the war for a while. I do feel a little guilty, though. Sure. But sometimes you have to step away or risk going crazy. Too late. No argument here. You're a crappy commander. You're a crappy commander. Sir. Copy that. Hmm. Okay, and then General is over here. Commander. Unless you can find a new source of weapons for CSEC, I'm putting together a task force to stop the Blue Suns myself. I'll get you your weapons, General. I appreciate the effort, but I've spent too much time out of action, Commander. Won't be able to sit on my hands much longer. Okay, so I guess that's all he's got to say. I haven't done anything, uh, done all the things for him yet. Okay, seriously, this is weird. Where the heck is Tally? She's supposed to be over by number four. Is that upstairs? Oh, no, nope, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, according to the map, she's supposed to be just like right over here? Tally. Tally, where'd you go? Oh, that's just... Oh, that just pisses me off. Maybe she's... Maybe she's underneath. No. No, she still isn't. Um, listen, I think Tally is watching some mo uh, movie trailers in the hallway. Oh, okay. Let me see.
Okay, let me see if that's where she is. Oh, come on, Tally. Where are you? I do want to find her before moving on. It is the strangest thing, but no. Yeah, I don't see her there. I just don't understand. Oh, here she is. Here she is. Oh, jeez. Of course. We can have ships at the colony in 36 hours. Do you need mm -hmm. medical support? No, evacuating the colony is more than enough. Thank you, Ambassador. Ambassador? I'm coordinating actions for the fleet while we're here. Evacuating colonies, bolstering Turian defense lines. Huh. I think it was right here. Three years ago to the day. What? This was where Seren's assassins fired at me. I'd just gotten to the Citadel. I didn't think I needed my barriers up. My mistake. Saren had assassins after you? Right. I disabled the Geth and found that recording that proved he was working with the Reapers. I went to Ilium and tried to inform the authorities, but Saren's mercenaries attacked me. I barely escaped. I stowed away on a Turian freighter and came out here. I thought I was safe. You never told me about this. How bad was it? Got me in the arm. They used polonium rounds. I was running a fever in minutes. It was the first time Jeez. I'd been really hurt on my pilgrimage. I ran to the council embassy, asked for protection, offered the data on Seren. The Turian clerk called me Soot Rat. He threatened to have me tossed off the station if I didn't leave. I wish that clerk could see you now. He just did. That was him back there. I don't think he remembers me. <laughs> I'm proud of you for helping. And you're assisting him in spite of that. This war is too big for old grudges. You showed me that. We're at peace with the Geth. I can't waste my time on a Turian who made me angry. Besides, it all worked out. I made it to the wards. You found me. Happy ending. And now the Turians will get the aid they desperately need. I nearly reminded him who I was, made him apologize, rubbed his nose in it. Maybe he and I both needed to grow up a little. The difference is that you helped when it counted. The difference was you. Aww. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Uh, okay, let's go to... <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, bang, okay. Uh, that'll be for the second time. Um, it is funny. I can't. I, there's there's a lot of games now that I can't. I can't play certain parts without imagining the gamer poop videos. They're they're so good. It's it's too bad. I don't think he's making any more of those. Unfortunately, it's it's too bad. He's really good at that. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything I can do there, at least for now. So I'm going to go to the club because that's pretty quick and then uh and then I'm, and then after that we'll call it a night. <clears throat> yeah. Uh it was good it was a good night though. It was it was great to at least get that uh get uh get that Ranok on on uh sorry that Raper on Ranok killed. Oh, excuse me. How's the head? Good. Concussion's almost gone. Good. Yeah. I like how they do sort of the muffled, uh, the muffled sound of the music. They do a good job of that. I don't think there's anything specific I have to say to, to her to say, Oh, hey, it's Jack! Ugh, this sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's <laughs> Duty. fun now. 
They got us spread out across alliance units, reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. <laughs> yeah, duty. Uh, you look good. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend <laughs> on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? Well, she doesn't approve of cleaning up. <laughs> right now, you're on shore leave. Oh, hey, I see Edie up there. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. I love how they keep referencing that. <laughs> So clean it squeaks. And uh oh Cortez is here. Hey, la lady, yeah, thanks. Shepard, you made it. Come have a drink. Jeez, everybody's here. You're looking happy. You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your taste. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. There's an energy here. There's life. And some of the eye candy in the crowd isn't too shabby either. <laughs> I'll be watching the ladies. The eye candy on the stage is fine by me. <laughs> Good. I sure don't need you as competition. Here. <laughs> uh, to our friendship. To you, Steve. And to you, Shepard, a good friend when I needed one most. Thank you. For everything. Cool. And... Uh, what the... What is... What is this? Get... That was that was useless. Get not so useless. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna kind of get distracted for a second, and then yeah, it's a good amount of distraction. Yeah, there we go. Eating. I'm curious, what material is your face made from? The surface is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. It also is capable of limited self-healing. And what about the hair? Huh. It is of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. If it has recently been exposed Whoa. to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. If I'm not needed to answer an inquiry, I would like some time alone. Really? If I'm not needed to answer an inquiry, I would like some time alone. Oh, Jeff. Jeff, you gotta get in there. Jeff, buddy. Joker. Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How is this any different from normal? 
Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Go for it. Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? That's always <clears throat> a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. You deserve to be stupid. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you've got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah, why the, why the fuck not? Go for it. Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. Haven't broken anything yet. Oh, that's oh, that's it. Okay. Okay, is there anything else I can do in here? Okay, that's Edie and Joker and Aria. Okay, I think that's all the RPGs I can do for now. But we'll sure to come back later. Um. Actually, yeah, as, as, and actually, as far as that goes, I think, uh, I think that's all the energy I got in for me in... I can't even say the sentence right. I think that is going to be the end of this session, but uh, I'm going to be doing more of this uh, same day next week. Um, maybe I won't be as tired, maybe I'll do a little bit longer, but uh, it's going to be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you, and check out my other stuff. If you want to see me play live, check out the links in the description. Come talk to me, maybe even play with me. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.